I got a uh, 2004 GL 1800 on the gold wing and my problem is that vent I've already taken it out problem is see if I can get this in there so you can see that is now I don't know what was in there but uh, I, the vent wouldn't stay closed anymore there's probably like a ball or something in there uh, that would rest in those little holes so that it stay at the position you want in that. Now, as you can see, I've just got the, the naked spring there, and it's been a little bit. Uh, I've managed to get it apart. Now, when you're taking it apart, you got your two bolts that's down there on the bottom. One, two. I'm going to lay it over here. There's, there's one right there. On the uh, front side, there's the front part right here. Now, when you're taking that apart, you're taking out your two bolts, one, two, and uh, on the back here, you've got that lip. You see that? You see that lip right there? I'm try to lay it down here or something a little bit there, and show it to you a little bit better. Right there, you got that lip where the windshield is sitting inside there, and not just the windshield. But also, not just the windshield, but also that. If my camera will focus here, you might be able to see a little bit better. <clears throat> but it sits, sits up inside there. So you got your, in that, in that groove right there, you've got your windshield in there. So, and that's a little bit tricky to get that out there. Uh, with it, you don't want to break it. And, uh. What I found was, it's on the back side of the windshield. You see, it's sitting in there like that. And that lip is right right there. Is uh, to, to, to get it out of that groove from the back side. In other words, picking this thing up. Okay, forcing it up. And then all of a sudden, it's like a spring loader. It'll pop out and this will... Your front, your front part right here is going to go flying forwards. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to try to do is uh, come up with this idea. Oh, one more thing is uh, this is your flap right there. It is to pry that out. Now this side is going in there where your lever's at, and this side over here sitting in there. You're going to have to pry it out on this side. Okay, and. You're not, your goal is not to be bending this too much, the frame. Your goal is to be bending this. Now that's kind of flexible. Okay. You see, that, that, that flex is pretty easy. And uh, that's going to be your flex point. Because if you do it on the other side, you're liable to break something to get that nipple out right there. Get a focus on that nipple. There you go. Okay. And then that way, once that is out, then you can rotate this arm around and get to that spring. So that spring, and I'm thinking if I take this quarter pin and cut it down to size and put it in there, it's, it'll fit right in there. And then I've got my rounded side on this side right here to go in those holes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this quarter pin down, you know, a little bit here. So it'll, it'll fit into that little compartment right there with that spring and work together with that spring to see if uh, I can get it without having to buy a new one. Okay, I've got her back in there. And if you look in there, get my light here right, you can see my got that Carter pin in there. Now, on that particular pin, I had to close that pin up just a little bit. I had to make that head a little bit smaller. Uh, just use my vise there and squeeze it in just a little bit and uh, so it would sit down inside just a little bit more and uh, you can see it's in there and I've still got my so far it's working the spring is still in there on the back side of that carter pin causing pressure Okay, so again, I can open and close my vent. And it didn't cost me anything. It's about 15, 20 minutes of time.
Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.